one of these is a 32 back with another texture today. We're looking at the Palms Oracle from Stuart Palm. And he's also the designer. He is uh, someone who is into card rating. And so he designed the stack, I guess, for his use. It's printed by Legends Playing Cards. Big thank you and shout out to Legends for sending me this. I do appreciate it. <clears throat> a tuck case has some metallic inks and spot UV inks and foils. It says Palm Oracle, and it's kind of Mary Mids like it's reflecting off water. It's pretty cool. It's got an interesting stock to it, almost like a soft touch, I guess. On the one side, you have pits in pink foil with a bit of, I guess, embossing. The other side is a quote Who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakens? Carl Young. The top is just this foily thing. You'll see that a bit. The bottom, uh, some ad copy is designed, I guess, by Third Sight Studio. Or it's by, produced by them. Stuart Palm is the designer. Printed in China. By Legends. Check out stuartpalm.com. And then the, the tuck case. Not the normal tuck case. It opens, slides out like this. And it's pretty cool. Shiny. I inadvertently pulled the whole thing out the first time. They pull it out, as you saw, they're gilded pink. It's pretty cool. I don't have a whole lot of decks that are pink gilded. The cards themselves, the back design is a purplish color. All sorts of symbolism here. You got the sun and the moon kind of coming out from the clouds, parting from the clouds, or clouds parting from the sun and the moon, which is a, it, it, it represents an opening of consciousness. And then you got the snake in the middle, which is called the Ouroboros, which is a snake eating a tail, which is a symbol of infinity, infinite nature or consciousness. So that's pretty cool. It is, well, mostly mirror image, except for that. And the spec that was on there. <laughs> we get to the cards. You do get a couple of extra court cards, a queen and king hearts. Don't know who they are or what they're supposed to represent. And then you get some free extra uh, Joker cards there. The Joker cards, they do have foil on them as well, which is pretty cool. And these are free um, Significator or Activator cards used for reading cards. This is an Oracle themed deck, obviously. Uh, I guess this one represents like Flame or Fire, I'm not really sure. This one yeah, is a, I suppose, a reflect, reflection. <laughs> to reflection and uh, this one again i'm not too so i'm going to try to figure out what the cards mean but i don't really know kind of like a sun a moon and a star it's pretty cool so ace of spades it obviously represents death i mean ace of spades is easily known as the death card uh obviously represents hearts ace of hearts maybe knowledge I mean, the, the book, nice, shiny, I guess, foil. Or maybe it's just metallic inks on some of these, but that's definitely foil there, I would say. I don't know if it's actually. This one, I guess, represents the world. And yes, there is a pinkish color, a purple color for the spade, uh, for the hearts and the diamonds with black with the spades and clubs. It's a color, uh, I mean, you get that in the gilding as well on the back design. That is represent, it represents stuff with your palm with his reading. So this, yeah, I don't know, a seal protection maybe, who knows. This is a star. Not so what it represents. This, I think, could represent travel. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what some of these represent. This, like a, uh, represents like maybe different paths to take. Obviously, this one uh, represents a door opening. I'm not sure what the blackbirds would represent on the brands. Some flowers. What is that? Wealth? <laughs> Something you're doing. Yeah, this is 
letters, obviously. Maybe a change in the direction. I don't know. Something growing out, it looks like. And B. It's pretty cool. Uh, maybe a signing light in the distance. Thoughts, maybe. Knowledge. Uh, this, I think, represents hardest. Marriage, maybe. I don't know. Love. Uh, what is that? Escape, perhaps? There's that guy. Don't know what that represents. Nor that. There's the moon, the night, maybe. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what that would represent. Not a mind reader or a card reader, obviously. Again, was that sinking maybe? <laughs> Sun, maybe that's rising. Maybe the maybe the nighttime one is setting. I don't know. I have an agreement, a handshake. A key to the future, maybe. Something has a key. There's that. Maybe something about getting out of your cell. <laughs> oh. Maybe getting a best friend, I don't know, a dog of some sort. A whip, a whip and disable. A snake. Birthday, obviously. Or a celebration of some sort. Ah, uh, what is this? Balance, perhaps? It feels like it's balance. Um, this could be a celebration as well. Or an explosion or something. Maybe I'm looking into these too much. Or seeing things that are there. This, I, I would say, represents luck. That, not so much luck. It looks like it's pretty much rage. Mystery, maybe? Haunting? I don't know. Maybe, uh, life? Rebirth? There's that. A two two on a phone. I used to have I used to have phones like that back in the day. You remember those? <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe a message of some sort. There's another key to something. Maybe this represents cleaning up. I don't know what that would represent. Uh, health, maybe. <laughs> maybe disease. Kids, obviously. And then there's that. That looks like a storm. So, yeah, pretty interesting deck. Uh, what was the other King of Hearts and Queen of Hearts? Queen of Hearts, different check from this one. I just want to compare those. I don't know if these are actual people. Perhaps any knows. And there's a King. That's different as well. So, yeah, it's interesting. The cards, like it says, are supposed to be the finest stock. Uh, Finish from Legends. Pretty good. Unfortunately, the gilding seems to hurt it a bit. It doesn't really handle as good as it should. But the quality is fine. It's a good quality. Overall, pretty interesting deck. I think it got some of the symbolism. Obviously not all of it. Uh, if you're into Oracle decks, card reading, stuff like that, I'm sure you'll like it. Probably available at his website, stuartpalm.com. Did not see it at Legends. So yeah, that's Palm's Oracle. I will give it an A. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching.